tetrahydrocannabinol is what gives marijuana its psychoactive properties. It's called THC, and it's also available as a product on the market. CBD or cannabidiol is another component of the marijuana plant, but unlike THC, it has no psychoactive properties. There is very little evidence that any of the components of marijuana are effective for the treatment of migraine. That does not mean they don't work. What it means is they haven't been studied. And it's very important to talk about the different forms of CBD, whether it's oral or an oil. My bias is the fact that CBD oil is really good for local pain and tenderness. If you have a lot of neck pain or soreness, I think it's perfectly reasonable to use CBD oil. It works locally, and even if you took it orally, it wouldn't produce intoxication. And CBD has now been approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of certain types of epilepsy. The problem with the entire field is the federal government. At the same time the states are legalizing marijuana and its derivatives, it's still a federal crime. So theoretically, if you bought marijuana in a state which is legal and you went to another state where it's illegal, you could be arrested by the state or by the federal government. Now, our attorney general is opposed to the marijuana its usage in all forms. So it's theoretically possible that a physician or a dispensary or a patient using marijuana according to the laws of the state could be arrested. That's one major problem. And two, to study marijuana or its derivatives is extremely difficult because there's only one source of plants you can use. I think they're grown in Mississippi and they're not the best pure plants for study. So the double-edged sword. It depends on the state in which you're in. If you're in a state where it's illegal, you have no local or federal protection. For example, in Pennsylvania, it's legalized. Not recreational marijuana, but marijuana for medicinal uses. First, a physician in the state of Pennsylvania cannot prescribe marijuana. Because if he did, he'd have his license removed with the federal offense. What he can do is recommend that the patient go to dispensary to get marijuana, and it's actually filled by the, by the dispensary. Number two, the physician would write what the indication is, and the dispensary would then make different mixtures of different components for the patient to try to see what's best for him. It's still like, guess it. I mean, we don't know. So one of the nice things about the Pennsylvania system is part of the profits will go to institutions to do marijuana research. And two, you work at the dispensary, you're sure you're getting a pure product, and you can change the product if it works, it doesn't work for you. That's how it's done in Pennsylvania. Some states, it's legal for recreational uses, so there's no physician intermediary, so anybody can use it. So every state is in, in different, and it's extremely important to know what state you're in to get it. And also important, if you take it across state lines, even if it's legal in two states, that's a federal offense to transport marijuana across state lines. And that might be a point if you're going to the airport. I've heard people, they have sniffing dogs, they find it, and it's a mess. So be very careful. And that's one of the advantages of the vaporized marijuana. It's sealed and you can't, dogs can't sniff it. My only concern is going to be if you get it and it's not regulated, what are you really getting? I mean, somebody could say you're getting CBD oil and get olive oil. I mean, CBD is the major chemical present in hemp. And, you know, you extract hemp. So what's somebody going to do? They could take a, a drop of hemp oil and they could put in tons of olive oil or something else or mineral, oil, you know. And how do you know what you're getting and how pure it is? That's my concern. And I would say in those states where it's regulated, for example, in Pennsylvania, they're going to come down and have actually analyze the products to be sure it is what they say. And I think everybody has to look in their own states and find out 
what are the checks to be sure that the stuff you're getting is pure? 